subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Leela Bakore tutorial. In the previous part, we talked about one subphylum of core data that was Euro core data. Now we will take another subphylum that is cephalo core data. It is a subphylum of phylum core data. In cephalo chordates, the notochord is present from anterior to posterior end that means from the head region to the tail region this notochord is present and it is found throughout the life so notochord is present throughout the life in case of urochordata uh, that is the one which we discussed in the previous video the notochord was present only in the tail region and as metamorphosis takes place, the tail is lost and that is why the adults do not have notochord. In case of cephalochordates, it is present from head to the last part that is anterior to posterior end and it remains throughout the life. They have nervous system but it is not clearly mod uh, modified or distinguished into brain and spinal cord. So, CNS not differentiated into brain and spinal cord. Cephalochordates are considered as blueprints of chordates. Now, blueprint actually means the exact copy. That means here they show all the chordate characters. As we talk of the chordate characters, that they have notochord, they have pharyngeal gill slits, they have the tail. So all those characters are present throughout the life and that is why they are called blueprints of chordates. The example that we take in cephalochordata is of amphioxus. Amphioxus, it has a fish-like body. The body is streamlined and there is an anterior projection which is seen and this projection is known as rostrum. The mouth is on the ventral side that means here and it is surrounded by a bulging part which is known as oral hood. And on this oral hood there are some sensory structures which are known as oral Sirai. So mouth is ventral covered by oral hood and the oral hood has sirai. These are sensory structures. Now the body as we said is fish like and the notochord which is dorsal solid notochord is present from anterior to posterior end. All along the length this notochord is present. They also have fins and the fin, this is the dorsal fin, the ventral fin is a smaller one and they also have a tail fin or a caudal fin. So this is the caudal fin. That means dorsal, ventral and caudal, all three fins are present. So here we can write all those characteristic features, dorsal, ventral and caudal fins are present. They have 26 pairs of gonads. So these gonads are seen here in the form of these box like structures and they are going to be 26 pairs. So these are gonads and all along the body we find some bands which are all over. 
these are known as myotomes there are bands they are called myotomes these myotomes are bands of striated muscles the anal opening is here so the structure which extends beyond the anus is the tail part in the pharyngeal region there are gills also so they have notochord they have pharyngeal gill slits and they also have tail central nervous system is also present cns is also there but it is not properly distinguished or differentiated into brain and spinal cord and these are all chordate characters which are very clearly seen in case of cephalochordates the most important example is balanoglossus oh, sorry most important example is amphioxus in case of amphioxus the clear things which are visible are these myotomes which are uh, the skeletal muscle or striated muscle uh, fibers or bands 26 pairs of gonads dorsal ventral and caudal widths uh, fins which are for locomotion and because they show all chordate characters throughout their life they are considered as the blueprints of phylum chordata so this is one phylum which is oh uh, sorry sub phylum of chordata that is cephalochordata so chordata is divided into three sub phylums one was urochordata then this is cephalochordata and the third one is vertebrata so vertebrate characters are again unique so an organism is a chordate if it shows these characters in case of vertebrata this notochord is going to get replaced by the vertebral column so the next thing that we will discuss is the vertebrata